countries now blow out first world nations. And they have their people in both parties, as you know, in all the major regulatory positions. And I think that's why they're so arrogant now is they're going for broke. The the, the, the big question is, and, and I want to get into how we can push to get Geithner indicted or a special uh -huh. prosecutor or something like that. But but the big question is, where are they headed if we don't stop them? Because they have the incentive to shut off money to Main Street so it's destitute, so they can come in and buy it up for pennies on the dollar. Right, and that's what they're doing. I mean, the reports now, if you look at the commercial real estate market, and we haven't begun to see all the falls in the, in the commercial real estate market, um, you know, they're talking about buying things at 50% or less of, you know, the market height. And this is what I saw as Assistant Secretary of Housing. I came in as Assistant Secretary of Housing in 1989, and at the time, FHA was the largest property owner because of our foreclosures, and then the RTC got created to, to handle the dispositions of the SNLs. And, and we started to auction off where our, my secretary was on the board of the RTC, and so I was involved. And, and we were taking in massive amounts of property, and the fraud, Alex, was off the charts. You know, you'd get a portfolio and says, there are 10 mortgages on this block in Detroit, and you'd go there, and there, there were no houses there. You know, so the fraud was off the charts. But what happened is when the first bids came in, no one knew if the bids would work. And, and I looked at the first three bids and I said, oh my God, the people buying this are buying at 10 cents on the dollar what their syndicate sold two years ago for, you know, 200% of market value. So it was a pump and dump and they were going to make, you know, they were going to triple, quadruple the money they'd made selling out at the high. So, so this is a scam. Hello, this is Alex Jones with some important questions. If you're going into a battle and they give you a rifle and a sidearm, how much ammunition do you want? My answer would be all I can get. In the battle for freedom and the lives of your loved ones, food is your only ammunition. How much do you want? When do you want it? Now or after the battle starts? When will you need it? Can you buy it without proper identification? Will there be any food? Will it make your children sick? If there's a quarantine and you can't feed yourself, will you go to the gathering center and be immunized? You wipe out all these problems if you have a good food supply. Food is your ammunition to fight for your freedom and your life. How much will you need? We don't know. How much do you want? All you can get. I'm Alex Jones. I want all of you good guys to live to fight another day. Call 1-800-409-5633 or check it out on the web at efoodsdirect.com. Again, that number, 1-800-409-5633. What's your home worth? How can you compare local real estate agents? And how do you get MLS listings for the entire country? If you're thinking of buying a home to take advantage of a tax credit or selling your house, you first need to see an incredible website called HomeGain.com. HomeGain.com will help you find a realtor to buy or sell a home. It's so easy, and best of all, it's free. At HomeGain.com, you can compare realtors anonymously, receive customized proposals, see consumer reviews, then select the best realtor for you. Go to HomeGain.com and get an instant home value estimate. View comparable homes and check out street views. HomeGain.com has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and contains a wealth of information, like their home improvement tool that helps you determine which home improvements to make to increase your home's value. See the top 12 home improvements right now at HomeGain.com. That's H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you find a realtor or with any other real estate needs you might have at HomeGain.com, your real estate connection. This is Alex Jones, and I want to tell you about the Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator that produces pure drinking water right from the humidity in the air. No, this isn't science fiction. It's very real. I know because I use one every day in my own home, and it's available right now to you. Because you know exactly where your water comes from with Ecola Blue, you'll know what's in your cup. Clean, great-tasting water without all the pollutants. Get your family off the grid today by ordering your own Ecola Blue Atmospheric Water Generator for your home or business. Their best seller, the Ecola Blue 28, produces up to 7 gallons of 
water every day. The Ecola Blue 28 is easy to use and economical. Generate your own pure water from the humidity in the air. This system is free of chemicals and uses a multi-stage filtration system, including reverse osmosis, carbon filters, and ultraviolet lights. Order now and claim your water independence today by calling Ecola Blue at 1-800-691-6043. That's 1-800-691-6043. Or visit Ecola Blue on the web at www.ecoloblue.com today. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Obviously, ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to ram through government health care. The Democrats have now actually read it and discovered it's another bailout, another scam to the insurance companies owned by the banks. I want to get uh, Catherine Austin Fitz take on that. Also, uh, they're now reporting hundreds of thousands dead in Haiti from the earthquake. Hundreds of thousands dead. I mean, they're talking about all Americans being naked body scanned and recorded, all courthouses having naked body scanners. They're going in all over the country. I found out two years ago, a year and a half ago, Denver already had it. I'm kind of all over the map here. It's just crazy. Earthquakes kill hundreds of thousands. But we've all got to go through naked body scanners because somebody might blow an airplane up. Oh, men and women are fighting in uh, France. 150 plus people kill each other a year. Well, let's let's ban arguing or ban marriage outright. You know, that's the mindset of these tyrants and how they're selling us on tyranny. They could care less about you and your safety. I've got a law enforcement article here where SWAT says options for multiple shooter tactics. Says we've got to get rid of Posse Comitatus and put the army on the streets. Catherine, I'm all over the map here. It's just... No, 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 no. You know, because you're dealing... You, you know, you see the... It's like the Pillsbury Doughboy. You squeeze one place, it pops out another. And what you're seeing is the lockdown across the board. And it's, you know, it's coming in on in every direction. And, you know, whether it's the economic insanity and sort of the two-class system or it's the... Uh, you know, what they're, what they're doing is they're rolling out all sorts of different controls because they know when people figure out that our retirement system has been basically moved offshore and now there's nothing to, you know, to keep the commitments, people are going to get upset. And, and by that time, they plan to have the food system and, and the health care system and all these different systems under lockdown. Um, to me, one of the scariest ones you haven't brought up yet, Alex, is the idea of sending over a million Americans around to collect all sorts of data on all of us. I'm sure you've had, have you ever had Edwin Black on the show to to describe how the Nazis put together their original uh, databases? So yes, he wrote the book on uh, IBM. Right. And, and, and yes, the census people are now telling people to tell them about their stocks and bonds and uh, what type of uh, toilet they have. And now TSA is just downloading a large percentage of people's computers without warrants and just saying we're keeping it. I mean, it's just wall-to-wall evil. Meanwhile, Geithner and others, who is most to blame in the crime, in the criminal acts from your expert view? How do we get, uh, Geithner indicted? I mean, there's open talk of it happening. Okay. Well, here, you know, I think, I think lots of pressure brought on, you know, this is a time when calls to Congress can make it very un- and calls to the White House can make it very uncomfortable for the for the White House to not make a change here. But at the heart of this matter, if you really want to make a significant shift, what we're going to have to do is is work at the state and local level. And let me describe why. Have you seen the governor of Arizona's state of the state 
address yet? Uh, no, I haven't. Okay, it's fabulous. She just came out and she said, and this is on health care, she said there are 14 attorney generals around the country, state attorney generals, now working together to prepare, you know, real Tenth Amendment arguments to stop the implementation of this health care reform. And if my attorney general won't join them, I will. <laughs> wow. Right. And where this is all going to come down, it's going to come down to Tenth Amendment and, and where we can get a governor an attorney general, and a majority of the sheriffs in a jurisdiction. Because you know, Alex, the sheriff is the most powerful, uh, you know, I mean, the, the sheriff... Elected representative in the more county. ...more powerful than the military. Yes. So, you know, but where we can align the attorney general, the governor, and the majority of the sheriffs in a jurisdiction, that's what's going to happen, because the only thing that's going to stop this is when you say no. And and when when they say that, when they declare the Tenth Amendment... That's when we're going to have to have an argument about the cash flows, because you can't keep sending money to Washington if Washington keeps using it to break the law. And it's not just Washington. We have international banks running Washington. I mean, we right. don't have our government. Right. The Congress is not in control. And so, you know, we're, we're, it's almost like we're, we're at a party. Everybody's drunk. Everybody's stoned. Everything's out of control. Where do you build the power to say 